What's up friends, Brandon here. Welcome back to the channel for the conclusion of the 30 gram and under championship race. In the last video, we qualified these 43 cars from 23 different racers to find our overall top qualifier, as well as the order in which we seated these cars into the bracket. It gave us a chance to see how well the cars performed in solo runs, but today we'll be running out the bracket two at a time down this quarter mile drag strip where I'm sure the results could possibly defy the qualifying order of things. This race was advertised on redlinederby.com, so be sure to check out the website for additional mail-in races that are available to join in all over the country. Race rules here are that the cars must weigh in at 30.99 grams or less, stock castings, no wheel swaps, no polishing, no added or removed weight, and dry lubes are allowed on the axles. We will start out with our wild card rounds first, which are down here on the deck, and they're paired up in the appropriate matchups, and the blank spots in the bracket are going to correspond in order. And the winner of these races are gonna fill the blank spots that we currently have in our bracket. And I'll go ahead and pop up the seed category that we qualified these cars in here in just a second. Each car will be run twice, once in each lane. We're running rocket rounds. So the fastest pass will advance that car into the next round. In case of a tie, we'll compare the slower runs to determine the win. For the final race, the two cars will alternate lanes with the first car to record three wins, taking the overall championship. Thank you once again to all who participated in the race and good luck on your race day. Right on. Let's get this thing started. And just to make it a little bit more interesting, I did some modifications to the trophies. The winner of the race is not only going to get the trophy, but the car included with the trophy in its appropriate weight class. First two cars pairing up out of our wild card round, qualifying in the number 32 spot, it's Pony Up by Puffs Racing, codename Nasty, versus the number three qualifying Chase Family Racing, Radical Racer. On your marks, get set. It looks like a pretty even matchup for the first round. 2365 to a 2368. So Puffs pony up, taking the first win. Landry Swap, the Radical Racer needs to beat a 2365 to stay in it. On your marks, get set. Go. And it's a 2357 to a 2361. Awesome. Chase Family Racing taking the win on that second run. He'll be moving into the bracket. Next up, we've got the number 24 qualifier. It's the Lamborghini Mira, driven by Mini Car Racing, AKA Wes Cozen, versus the number 41 qualifying car, X Steam, driven by Numbskull Racing. On your marks, get set, go. Oh boy, look at that Mira go. Mini Car Racing taking the first one with the Lambo. It's a 2355 to a 2461. Lane just swap X team needs to be a 2355 to move on. On your marks, get set, go. And that is not gonna happen. 2358 to a 2438. Mini car racing, AKA West Coast and moving into the bracket. Next up qualifying 25th overall is Golden Owl driving his color shifters audacious versus the number 40 qualifier, 2Jet Z, driven by Mini Car Racing, AKA Bolo Brown. On your marks, get set, go. And the Audacious taking care of business, 2350 to a 2396. He's got one victory. 2Jet Z needs to beat a 2350 to stay in. On your marks, get set, go. Not gonna happen, 2355 to a 2398 in Golden Owl with his audacious moving into the bracket. Next up qualifying 29th overall is Pole Boy Racing driving his 16 Angels versus the number 36 qualifier, Numbskull Racing with his Salt Shaker. On your marks, get set. And it's a tie, 2373 to a 2373. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and rack them back up at the top of the hill. Try that one again. Landry Swap, and it's a tie ball game. Winner of this one moves in. On your marks, get set. Still close. 
2366 to a 2371. So numbskull with his salt shaker. Moving on in the bracket. Next up qualifying 28th overall is Rivera Racing driving his Chrysler 300 versus the number 37 qualifier, Uncle Elvis, driving his color shifters Bedlam. On your marks, get set, go. And it's the Chrysler 300, 2353 to a 2374. Rivera Racing recording his first win. Landry swap the Bedlam means to beat a 2353 to move on. On your marks, get set. And not going to happen. The Chrysler 300, 2357 to a 2375. Two wins from Rivera Racing. Going to move him into the bracket. Next up, qualifying 31st overall is Mark Rich 21. This car coming all the way from Germany is the Formula Solar versus the number 34 qualifier from Mr. BFG. It's the X Wing Fighter. On your marks, get set. Pretty close race. Formula Solar taking that one. 23.55 to a 23.58. Mark Rich, 21, recording his first win. Landry Swap, the X-Wing needs to be the 23.55 to stay alive. On your marks, get set. Go! How will he do it? 23.57 to a 23.60. The 23.55 first time from the Formula Solar. It's going to move him into the bracket. Qualifying number 23rd overall, Golden Owl driving another audacious color shifter versus the Bone Shaker sent in by Mini Car Racing, aka Bolo Brown. On your marks, get set, go! And it's audacious, taking care of business 2356 to a 2413. Golden Owl beating up on Bolo Brown one more time. Then you just swap the bone shaker needs to try to beat a 2356 to stay in it. On your marks, get set. Go. Not gonna happen. 2354 to a 2433. Two wins by Golden Owl gets him a ticket to the big show. Qualified 26th overall. Another entry from Mark Rich 21. This one also from Germany. It's his salt shaker. Versus the number 39 qualifier, driven by Lily the Dog. It's the Audi R8, codenamed Itsy Bitsy Spider. On your marks, get set, go. Salt Shaker taking care of business. 2341 to a 2400. Mark Rich, 21, taking the first one. The Itsy Bitsy Spider needs to be the 2341 stain. On your marks, get set, go. And it's just not going to have it for that Salt Shaker. 2348 to a 2393. Another win by the Salt Shaker is gonna put both of Mark Rich 21's cars into the bracket. Qualifying 30th overall, it's Bulletproof, driven by Uncle Elvis, versus the number 35 qualifier from Puffs Racing. It's the Project Speeder, AKA Trashy. On your marks, get set, go. It's Bulletproof. Putting about three quarters of a car length on that one. 23.63 to a 23.80. Uncle Elvis recording his first victory. And the swap trashy needs to beat a 2363 to stay in it. On your marks, get set. Go. Look at that. Oh my goodness, 2362 to a 2365. Wow. Trashy making a hero run, beating out Bulletproof's first run by 1,000s. He'll be going into the bracket. Next up, number 22 in the qualifying order, it's Arlo Racing with his Electro Silhouette versus the 43 qualifying car for Mini Car Racing, AKA West Cozen, it's the Nash. On your marks, get set, go. Oh boy, that's not even funny. 23.38 to a 25.32. So Arlo Racing taking the first one, hands down. Major swap, the Nash needs speed of 23.38 to stay in it. On your marks, get set, go. A little bit tighter. Still a win by Arlo Racing with a 23.45 versus a 24.17. So Arlo with his electro silhouette moving into the bracket.
And the last qualifying round, we're gonna see the number 27 qualifier from Arlo Racing, it's his 16 Angels, versus the number 38 qualifying car from Po' Boy Racing, it's the Mastretta MXR. On your marks, get set, go. Uh, Arlo taking the win, 2360 to a 2400. 16 Angels recording a victory. Landry Swap and Mistretta needs to beat a 2360 to stay in it. On your marks, get set, go. Not gonna happen. 2363 to a 2376. So Arlo's second entry making it into the bracket. All right, that concludes our wild card round. This is what our round one matchup is gonna look like. Round number one is gonna start off with K&O Racing's top qualifier, Salt Shaker, versus Chase Family Racing's Radical Racer, qualifying 33rd. On your marks, get set, go. And our top qualifier, 2281 to a 2361. Doing his thing, he records the first win. Lane just swapped. Radical Racer's got a big task ahead of him. He needs to be a 2281 to stay in it. On your marks, get set. Go. Salt Shaker, too strong. 2286 to a 2351. Kano Racing moving on to round number two. Qualifying 16th overall is Poverty Hollow DCR's Cannonade versus the number 17 qualifier, Mr. BFG's MR11. On your marks, get set. MR11 taking care of business. 2336 to a 2396. MR11 turns on the wind lights. Landry swap the cannon AD speed at 2336 to move on to round two. On your marks, get set, go. It's a 2329 to a 2339. So Cannonade with a terrible first run. More than makes up for it in the second one. He'll be moving on to round number two. Next, we have the number nine qualifier from Elevation Diecast Racing. It's his Salt Shaker versus Mini Car Racing's Lamborghini Miura, qualifying in 24th. On your marks, get set, go. Elevation Diecast. Putting Gappage on the Lambo, 2296 to a 2366. Elevation puts down a fast one. Later slot, the Lamborghini needs to beat a 2296 to move on round two. On your marks, get set, go. Not gonna happen. 2303 to a 2339. Elevation diecast racing with the Salt Shaker. Moving on to round two. Here we've got the number 25 qualifier from Golden Owl. It's the Color Shifters Audacious versus the number eight qualifying Salt Shaker from NRV Diecast Racing. On your marks, get set, go. Tight race, 2315 to a 2333. NRV Diecast turning on the wind lights. Later spot, the Audacious needs to beat a 2315 to move on. On your marks, get set, go. Salt Shaker gapping the audacious. 2299 to a 2344. NRV diecast racing, moving on to round number two. Next up, we got a pair of Salt Shakers. The first one, the number four qualifier from Crazy Eights versus the number 36 qualifier from Numbskull Racing. On your marks, get set, go. And it's Crazy Eights taking that one, 2287 to a 2361. Crazy Eights taking the first one. Major Swat and Unskull Racing's Red Salt Shaker needs to beat a 2287 to move on. On your marks, get set, go. Crazy Eights, 2301 to a 2362. 
J-Mac Salt Shaker from Crazy 8s. Moving on. Next, we've got the number 13 qualifier from Chase Family Racing. It's the Alfa Romeo 8C Competition versus the number 20 qualifier from Poverty Hollow DCR. It's the Kenner Stock Shocker. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, look at the Alpha go. 2317 to a 2339. Chase Family Racing turning on the wind lights. Landry's swap. The stock shocker needs to be to 2317 to advance. On your marks, get set. Oh, what's it going to be? 2326 to a 2332. So the Alfa Romeo from Chase Family Racing with a faster first run is going to advance him on to the next round. Next up, qualifying number 12th overall, it's your nightmare with the salt shaker versus the number 21 qualifier of Bobby D's Lakeside Raceway, the Mazda RX-7. On your marks, get set, go. RX-7 with the whole shot. But the salt shaker making it up on the long end, 23.18 to 23.52. Your nightmare racing with the first win. Lane just swap the RX-7 needs to be to 23.18 to stay in it. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, look at that. 23.47 to a 23.57. Terrible second run by your nightmare salt shaker, but his fastest first time is gonna advance him on to the next round. Here we've got the number 28th qualifier from Rivera Racing. It's the Chrysler 300 versus the number five qualifying salt shaker from Kit Racing. On your marks, get set, go. Salt Shaker putting gappage on the Chrysler. 2293 to a 2337. Kit Racing recording a win. Landry swap the Chrysler 300 needs to be to 2293 to stay in it. On your marks, get set, go. Looks like the Chrysler had the whole shot. 2300 to a 2335. Kit Racing has two wins. He's moving on to round number two. Kicking off the right side of the bracket, we've got the number two qualifier, Salt Shaker from K&O Racing versus the Formula Solar qualifying 31st overall from Mark Rich 21. On your marks, get set, go. Salt Shaker putting gappage on the Formula Solar, 2285 to a 2350. Kano Racing turning on the wind lights. Landry swap the Formula Solar needs to be to 2285 to move on. On your marks, get set, go. And the Salt Shaker taking care of business. 2286 to 2351. Kano Racing with the Zamac Salt Shaker moving on to round number two. Next up qualifying 15th overall, it's the Formula Solar from Elevation Diecast Racing versus the number 18 qualifier from Rivera Racing, another Chrysler 300. On your marks, get set, go. Formula Solar with a little bit of a gap, 2321 to a 2345. Elevation Diecast Racing with his first win. Landry swap the Chrysler speed at 2321 to move on. On your marks, get set. Tight race. 20. Twenty-three twenty-five to a twenty-three twenty-five. It's a tight ball game in the second race. So that means elevation diecast first run of twenty-three twenty-one is going to be good enough. To moving on to the next round. The number ten qualifier from Your Nightmare Racing. It's his Salt Shaker versus the number twenty-three qualifier from Golden Owl. It's the color shifter audacious. On your marks, get set, go. And Salt Shaker putting gappage on audacious. 2303 to a 2343. Your nightmare recording a win. Landry swapped, audacious needs to be at 2303 in advance. On your marks, get set, go. And the Salt Shaker had it from Start to finish, 2316 to a 2363. Your nightmare with his red salt shaker, moving on to round number two. 
Another pair of salt shakers, the red one from Mark Rich 21, qualifying 26th overall, versus the number seven overall qualifier from Blue Line Racing. On your marks, get set, go. Blue Line putting a gap on the red salt shaker, 2296 to a 2344. So Blue Line taking his first win. Now you just swap the red salt shaker needs to be the 2296 to stay alive. On your marks, get set, go. Not gonna happen. 2291 to a 2328. Blue Line Racing wins two. He'll be moving on to round number two. It's the number three overall qualifier from Blue Line Racing, another Zamax salt shaker, versus the number 35 qualifier. It's Nasty, the project speeder from Puffs Racing. On your marks, get set, go. Uh, Blue Line Salt Shaker. Put some gappage on Puff, 2289 to a 2363. Blue Line lights him up one more time. Major Swap Project Speeder needs to be to 2289, stay in it. On your marks, get set, go. Add more gappage. 2288 to a 2355. Blue Line putting another car in round number two. Next up, the 14th overall qualifier. It's DXP Racing with his blue salt shaker versus the number 19th qualifier from Bobby D's Lakeside Raceway, the Ferrari F40. On your marks, get set, go. Uh, salt shaker putting some gappage on the Ferrari 2316 to a 2366. DXP Racing taking the first one. Lane just swap the Ferrari needs to be to 2316 to move on. On your marks, get set, go. Salt shaker taking care of business. 2320 to a 2352. Still got a wheel turning in there. DXP Racing wins it both. He'll be moving on to round number two. Here we have the number 11th qualifier from DXP Racing. It's the blue salt shaker. Versus the number 22 qualifier is the Electro Silhouette from Arlo Racing. On your marks, get set, go. Salt Shaker got to the bottom of the hill and turned it on. 2305 to a 2343. DXP Racing turns on the wind lights. Landry Swat, the Electro Silhouette needs to beat at 2305 to stay alive. On your marks, get set, go. A little bit closer race. 2313 to a 2340. DXP Racing wins them both. He'll be moving on to the next round. And for the last matchup of round number one, it's the number 27th qualifier, 16 Angels from Arlo Racing versus the number six qualifying Salt Shaker from Crazy Eights. On your marks, get set, go. Salt Shaker putting gappage on the 16 Angels, 2298 to a 2340. Crazy 8's recording his first win. 2298 is the time to beat for 16 Angels. On your marks, get set, go. And 2288 to a 2341. Crazy 8's moving on to round number two. Round number one in the books, and it appears to be a salt shaker party. All right, round number two is going to start off k &O Racing's top qualifying Zamax Salt Shaker in lane number one and Poverty Hollow DCR's Cannonade in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, look at that Salt Shaker. 2283 to a 2365. k &O with a first win. Landry Swap, the candidate needs to beat a 2283. Stay in it. On your marks, get set, go. Not going to happen. 2287 to a 2330. Kano Racing moving on to round number three. 
Next up, we got a pair of Zamac salt shakers. Elevation diecast racing in lane number one and NRV diecast racing in lane number two. On your marks, get set. Race. Looks like Elevation taking that one 2298 to a 2303. Elevation diecast turning on the wind lights. They just swapped NRV diecast. Now in lane number one, needs to be to 2298 to stay in it. On your marks, get set. Twenty two ninety nine to a twenty three oh one. Elevation diecast advancing on as twenty two ninety eight was enough to beat the fast run of NRV diecast in the second race. Up on deck, we've got Zamek Salt Shake from Crazy Eights versus Chase Family Racing's Alfa Romeo Eight C Competition. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, the Alpha's hanging in there. Twenty two ninety six to a 23.17. Crazy Eight's taking the first one. Landry Swap, the Alpha needs to be a 22.96 to stay alive. On your marks, get set. Twenty-two ninety-eight to a twenty-three oh three. Not a bad time by the Alpha, but Crazy Eights wins them both. He'll be moving on to round three. Up next, both run in Zamax Salt Shakers. We've got your Nightmare Racing in lane number one and Kit Racing in lane number two. On your marks, get set. Kit Racing. About a third car length beat 2305 to a 2314. Kit Racing takes the first one. Landry swapped your nightmare racing in lane number two. Needs to beat a 2305 to stay in it. On your marks, get set. Go. Wow. 2282 to a 2346. Kit Racing takes them both. He'll be moving on to the next round. Up next, we got a Zamax Salt Shaker from K&O Racing in lane number one and from Elevation Diecast Racing, Formula Solar in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. And it's a Salt Shaker, 2283 to a 2308. K&O Racing turning on the wind lights one more time. Landry Swap Formula Solar needs to be at 2283 to stay in. On your marks, get set, go. Not happening. 2281 to a 2317. Two wins for K&O. He'll be moving on to round number three. Another pair of salt shakers. We got the five pack red version driven by Your Nightmare Racing in lane number one and the Zamac driven by Blue Line Racing in lane number two. On your marks, get set. <laughs> But it's Blue Line, 2291 to a 2302. Blue Line taking the first one. Your Nightmare of the Red, now in lane number two. He needs to beat a 2291 stay in it. On your marks, get set. <laughs> Blue Line taking the second one, 2287 to a 2302. Blue Line Racing takes them both. He'll be moving on to round number three. Another pair of salt shakers. It's the Zamac version driven by Blue Line Racing in lane number one and the blue one in lane number two driven by DXP Diecast Racing. On your marks, get set, go. And it's Blue Line taking it 2287 to a 2306. Blue Line wins the first one. Landry Swap, the blue salt shaker, needs to beat a 2287 to move on. On your marks, get set, go. And it's blue line all the way down. 2287 again to a 2301. Two wins for blue line racing. Moving them on to round number three. 
Last matchup of round number two, we got a pair of salt shakers. DXP Racing in lane number one and Crazy Eights with the Zamac in lane number two. On your marks, get set. Come. Twenty-two ninety-four to a twenty-three oh eight. Crazy eights taking the first one. Landry Swat DXP Racing in lane number two needs to be to twenty-two ninety-four to advance. On your marks, get set, go. And it's crazy eights. Twenty-two eighty-nine to a twenty-three fourteen. Two in for crazy eights. Moving on to round number three. Round number two in the books. Winners on the inside, losers on the outside. You should see a reoccurring theme going on here. All right, here we are moving into our quarterfinal rounds. We've got Zamax Salt Shakers filling up the eight slots that are left. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at these numbers on top. This is how I organized all these cars from the get-go. K&O Racing, top qualifier in lane number one with the number 34 car and Elevation Diecast Racing in the number 31 car in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. And k &O Racing taking that one. 22.82 to a 23.01. k &O Racing taking the first one. Later swap, now we've got Elevation Diecast Racing in lane number one and k &O Racing in lane number two. Elevation needs to be to 22.82 to move on to the next round. On your marks, get set, go. k &O with about a half a car length lead. 2284 to a 2303. Kano takes them both. He'll be moving on to the semifinals. Next race, another pair of Zamax Salt Shakers. And number 17 car is driven by Crazy Eights in lane number one, and the number 22 driven by Kit Racing in lane number two. On your marks, get set. Kit racing out with the whole shot, taking the lead 2279 to a 2298. Kit racing taking the first one. All right, lanes are now swapped. We got Kit racing in lane number one and Crazy Eights in lane number two. Crazy Eights needs to beat a 2279 to go to the next round. On your marks, get set. but it's Kit Racing taking that one. 22.86 to a 22.94. Two wins by Kit Racing. It's gonna move them on to the semifinals. Going over to the right side of the board and you guessed it, another couple of Zamac Salt Shakers in lane number one, the number 33 car of K&O Racing versus Blue Line Racing, number 26 in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. But it's Kano taking that one. 2293 to a 2296. Kano taking the first one. Lager swap. We now have Blue Line Racing in lane number one and Kano Racing in lane number two. Blue Line needs to be a 2293 in order to advance. On your marks, get set. Go. No, but it looks like Blue Line was catching. Twenty-two eighty-six to a twenty-two eighty-six, both times faster than the first run. Last race of the quarterfinals, and you guessed it, another couple of Zamac Salt Shakers. We've got Blue Line Racing in lane number one, driving number 25 
and Crazy Eights in lane number two, driving car number 16. On your marks, get set, go. Tight race with Blue Line hitting the gas at the flat, 2285 to a 2297. Blue Line Racing taking the first one. Lanes are swapping now. Crazy Eights in lane number one and Blue Line in lane number two. Crazy Eights needs to beat a 2285 to advance. On your marks, get set. Look at that Crazy Eights. 2285 to a 2290. All right, 2285 seems to be the time that these guys like. Number 16 is Crazy Eights. That's a tie for the fastest. And as I said at the very beginning of the race, in the case that we have any ties in the fast runs, we'll use the slower runs to be the tiebreaker and determine who moves on. So in this particular case, Blue Line Racing, he had a 2290 slow lap, and Crazy Eights had a 2297 slow lap. So 2290 beats a 97. Blue Line Racing is going to be moving on to the semifinal race. Quarterfinals in the books. Winners on the inside, losers on the outside. Not that you could tell a difference there, but we've got K&O Racing up here in the upper left-hand corner. Kit Racing in the lower left-hand corner. K&O Racing in the upper right-hand corner and Blue Line Racing in the lower right-hand corner. First semifinal race, we got K&O Racing in the number 34 car in lane number one, and Kit Racing in the number 22 car in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Good race, but it's K&O taking that one. 22.83 to a 22.92. Kano Racing taking the first one. Landry Swap, we got Kit Racing now in lane number one and Kano Racing in lane number two. Kit Racing needs to beat a 2283 to move on to the final race. On your marks, get set. <laughs> That's tight. 2281 to a 2285. Kano. Taking them both, he'll be moving on to the final race. And for the second semifinal race, we got K&O Racing in lane number one, driving the number 33 car and the number 25 car, driven by Blue Line Racing, currently in lane number two. I know K&O would like nothing more than to dispatch Blue Line, guaranteeing him some hardware. Let's see if he can do it. On your marks, get set. It's K&O, 2284 to a 2290. K&O lighting the wind lights one more time. Lane number swap, blue line racing now in lane number one, K&O in lane number two. Blue line needs to beat a 2284 to go to the final. On your marks, get set. Oh. Twenty-two eighty-nine to a twenty-two ninety-two. Wow, K&O Racing taking the win on that one. He'll be moving on to see himself in the final. All right, there you have it. K&O dominating the field in this race. Both of his cars making it to the final race, so he's guaranteed to go home with a trophy. But meanwhile, we need to see if Kit Racing and Blue Line Racing have what it takes to take number three spot on the podium. This is a race for third. We've got Kit Racing in lane number one and Blue Line Racing in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Blue Line had the whole shot. Kit Racing drives around him, 2285 to a 2288. Kit Racing taking the first one. Lane to swap, we've got Blue Line in lane number one and Kit Racing in lane number two. Blue Line needs to beat a 2285 to make it on the podium. On your marks, get set. Go. Yeah. 
No, 2283 to a 22.88. Kit Racing taking the number three spot on the podium for the 30 gram and under lightweight class. All right, race final. We've got K&O Racing in lane number one and lane number two. So this is K&O's opportunity to take a victory lap. Congratulations, Keith. On your march, get set. Twenty-two eighty-five to a twenty-two eighty-seven for car number thirty-three. Lanes are swapped. Car number thirty-three now in lane number one, thirty-four in lane number two. On your marks, get set. Twenty-two eighty-four to a twenty-two eighty-five. It's car number thirty-four. Both cars have a win at this point. Lane swap one more time. 34 in lane number one and number 33 in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. 22.83 to a 22.90. The number 34 car is setting a really fast side-by-side -side time, 22.83. I think right now at this point, since the uh, driver of both cars is the same person. I'm gonna go ahead and crown this guy the overall champion. He seems to be putting down the faster laps. All right, that's gonna do it for the 30 gram and under championship series race. Congratulations going out to Keith the K&O Racing for taking both the number one and two spots on the podium. He'll be receiving some hardware in the mail after this race is over with. And also congratulations to Jason over at Kit Racing for taking the last spot on the podium. Again, thank you racers for sending in your competitive cars to race. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check out the next video where we start qualifying runs for the welterweight division, 31 to 40.9 gram cars. Should be interesting. Until next time, y'all stay healthy, have fun racing.